Okay, prepare to be astonished. The new Crescendo pull-on jeans pattern equals a easy, quick, and comfy pair of jeans. So what do you need to know before you sew it? Hey there, sewists. You're gonna be blown away by our newest pattern because we are introducing one of the most uh, highly requested and exciting new patterns here at Love Notions and that is the Crescendo pull-on jeans. These jeans are designed to be easy, quick, and so completely comfortable. But before we dive into this new pattern, um, this video is covering everything that you need to know before you sew this pattern. So I'm gonna be talking about some fabric secrets, some sewing tactics that will actually help you make something that you'll love to wear, and even some exclusive insider insights on this pattern. Keep watching. So let's talk about some of the basics and just the general info about this pattern. The Crescendo pull-on jeans are the latest addition to the Love Notions family of patterns. And this is a pattern that is all about just effortless style and comfort. They just released and I promise you that these jeans are going to become a wardrobe staple for you. And that's because there's four leg styles, flare, boot cut, straight, and skinny. And they also feature some patch pockets, um, one piece front pockets, an elastic waistband that's so comfortable, and a rise that's intended to hit right at or above your belly button. So keep watching for some more info about this um, pattern and all of the incredible range of adjustments that are included um, depending on your inseam, your proportions, or other fitting issues you might have. So I promise you there's a solution for you as far as jeans inside of the pattern. I think if I had to pick, jeans might be the number one most common item inside of everyone's closet. Everyone's got some jeans um, of some sort or another. Um, they're just like that dependable item that you everybody can wear on repeat. But the problem is that those styles for jeans are constantly changing. I feel like for a while I bucked against the skinny leg <laughs> trend. Um, and for years, when I just started to feel comfortable in those skinny leg jeans, the fashion switched. So there's a ton of like back and forth happening between what's in and what's out when it comes to jeans. So to help us with this ever-changing style situation, Tammy designed this pattern to show off four distinct leg styles. So the options are packed in this pattern um, and it's ideal for keeping one pattern with a classic and comfortable fit on top that's kind of unchanging, and that's gonna take you through all of the seasons and all of the occasions, and each of the leg styles will help you keep up with the trend. Now, to just give you some thoughts about who would wear each style, let's work on our wardrobe department. This is where we assign a famous character to the pattern, or in this case, to each cut. So, for the flare style, I totally think uh, Donna from that 70s show, she, that's exactly who I think of when I see a flare. And this version with the pull-on style, I think it fits her vibe perfectly. So these would definitely be in her closet. Um, as far as the boot cut style, what came to mind first for me was like Jennifer Aniston, who you know most of us know as Rachel Green from Friends, and I think she epitomizes that like sleek style of the boot cut. Um, in terms of straight leg, I think that Aubrey Plaza or April from Parks and Rec, um, I think she has like a very cool uh, aura and I think that the casual feel of that straight leg style would apply to her. And then lastly, the skinny style I think is best represented by Audrey Hepburn. It's elegant, it's sleek, it's beautiful and simple and I think of Audrey Hepburn for that. So of course, like we just discussed, the beauty of this pattern is being able to transition between each of the diverse jeans trends that are happening in the world while still having that classic style that'll work no matter what the style of the moment may be. Now let's move on to some behind the scenes information, some exclusive insider information. So here's a few pieces of um, you know, trivia from inside of this process. So watching this pattern grow from an idea to a develop developing pattern to testing to then finally publish, it's always such a fascinating and fun process. And I get a really great 
peek into everything happening. So here are some aspects about the pattern that might be of interest to you. So one piece of trivia is that this pattern has like 15 files inside of it. And that's by far the most separate files that we've had attached to any single pattern in the pattern collection. And this is actually why for the first time the tutorial part of the pattern is actually separate from the print at home version of the pattern. Otherwise it just would have been um, way too big of a, of a single file. So if you purchase this pattern and you look at all the files that come with it, don't get overwhelmed. Just know that this pattern is full of options. So just carefully read through each of the titles and the files and there's just like a lot of things to choose from, whether it's the different rises, petite, standard, or tall. There's a projector file, the large format copy, and it's just everything else that goes with the pattern. So because there's so many options packed in with all those leg styles, um, it makes the files quite large. So Tammy always has to do a balancing act of how to get the most out of the patterns with offering the most and making it, you know, realistic logistically. Um, so there's lots of great things inside. Another little piece of trivia is that you can see it from the finals photo shoot that I did with Tammy in her backyard is that during this whole process we've had a new little member of the Love Notions family and that's Mosey, her new Australian Shepherd dog. Um, so Tammy during this whole development time has been in the you know mom dog puppy mode um, while working on the pattern and it's always been fun to check in with her on how things are going with potty training and sleeping and all of that stuff and he's so cute. Oh, I love him. Um, another piece of trivia for this pattern is that Diane Schaefer Rogers, uh, one of our new ambassadors, she actually suggested this pattern. It was because she could never find flare pull-on jeans that fit her short frame. So thank you, Diane. We love your suggestion. And of course, Tammy took it and ran with it. And we've got lots of great um, uh, utility behind this pattern. Um, and we're always so thankful for all the testers and the ambassadors that are here at the Love Notions team um, to create amazing patterns for everybody. Another little piece of trivia was that um, somebody in our community had commented on a previous sneak peek that they noted that each version of the pattern is almost exactly like the Spanx pull-on jeans, the famous Spanx pull-on jeans. Yet every single one of those versions, whether it's the skinny straight, uh, all of the different um, leg cuts, each one of those is like $138. So why not make your own with a $12.50 pattern, which by the way is on sale for $3 off right now. Um, it does require, of course, your time and experience and fabric and tools and all that stuff. But it was just a funny realization from one of our customers. And then lastly, another little tidbit was that the timing of this pattern was just so serendipitous for me. Um, of course, in my world, it's always a great time for a nice pair of jeans, but it was also fun for me because this pattern in particular really fit in very nicely with my little side hobby that I have, which is embroidery. Um, I am for sure not an expert, <laughs> and I've really just been into embroidery lately. It's just so satisfying to have um, not only something to work on with my hands, um, it keeps me off of my phone and just kind of keeps me, you know, feeling calm and peaceful, um, but it's just pretty. <laughs> so I lately have been using embroidery as a way to get a little bit more peace in my life. Um, and my mom and my aunt and Tammy, they're all quilters. And actually in April, all of us are going to the Missouri Star Quilter Retreat. Um, I'm gonna do like clothing there for sure. But um, anyway, my mom keeps in touch with all of that stuff. And one of the products that they advertised as part of the retreat, um, she actually surprised me with this amazing set. It's called Ingrid's Wildflowers and it's an embroidery kit. It is the coolest thing in the world. I love it. Thank you, mom. And so when I got this, we were just working on the jeans pattern and I was like, oh my goodness, we have to embroider a pocket. So um, I did that for Tammy's and mine and I love how they turned out. It was such a fun thing to do. Um, I'm not into quilting yet, but I am very much thankful for Missouri Star uh, for putting out this uh, embroidery kit. I just love it. And keep an eye out for later because I'm going to be doing another video on embellishments that we can put on our jeans. So keep an eye out. Another section that I like to talk about in these what to know before you sew videos is about fabric. And usually we talk about what's already in our stash or in our cart. 
But this pattern is a little bit different than most of our patterns that we've developed um, because of one reason, and that's fabric. Actually, this pattern requires some pretty special fabric, um, and Tammy did a little bit of work with sourcing that fabric because we didn't actually have in our stash already many cuts of the appropriate stretch and weight um, and type of denim. Um, the pattern requires a mid-weight fabric, stretch denim. So it definitely should be a heavier fabric than what you would use for leggings or jeggings material. And it's not gonna be like your regular uh, stretch knit fabric, of course. Um, but this fabric should look and feel like jeans but have a 25% stretch. Um, and that's in order to accommodate that pull-on part of the jeans, which I think is one of the best parts of the jeans. And so, of course, that's why they're so comfortable. And it's why they're not gonna like bag out and they're gonna get sloppy looking. Um, they're going to stay nice and fresh and tight looking because of that fabric. And so getting that very specific fabric was all part of that development process. So. Knowing that everyone's gonna be asking about fabric, Tammy worked with three fabric shops to make sure to secure some fabric that you're gonna wanna take a look at that works perfectly with this. So we have more information about that in the listing, but Raspberry Creek Fabrics, Surge Fabric Shop, and Style Maker Fabric all have exactly the right fabric um, that meets all of the specific specifications for the pattern. And of course, you could get this a lot of different places. You just need to be sure that you're checking the width, you're checking the spandex content, you're checking that stretch, and all of the other details before you purchase. So take a look at those three recommended places to make sure that you get the fabric that you need. Next, let's talk about the MVP of the pattern. Every pattern has its star player, and for the crescendo pull-on jeans, I would say that the MVP is the fit. So to start, this pattern has so many built-in adjustments and ways to make it fit you perfectly. There is a full butt adjustment and a flat butt adjustment, and you get to choose which one works best for your body. Um, it also has three inseams, and those correspond with rise options, so there's a tall, standard, and petite, and you can kind of work within those to get exactly the rise and inseam that you need. Um, the petite and tall versions are going to add or remove length from both the rise and the inseam. So if you're in doubt about what rise or inseam you need, what you should do is measure a pair of jeans that you like the fit of already and then compare that to the rise and inseam of the pattern. So, of course, you're gonna wanna use that chart that's in the pattern about the finished measurements, and that's gonna help you make the best decision for you. And keep in mind throughout the rest of the pattern um, that you're gonna wanna personalize this for you, and there's so many places that you can do that. So, the rise is intended to hit right at or just above the belly button. So, on top of the four leg styles, you can capture the exact right fit for your specific body, your specific height, and most importantly, your specific proportions. Now let's talk about how to speed it up or step it up. Um, whether you're a practiced uh, sewist and wanna speed through stuff, or maybe you're a meticulous maker, We've got some tips here in this section to help suit your particular sewing style. So let's learn how to streamline the process or to take your time for flawless finishes. Keep in mind that as always, the choice is yours. So here are some ways to speed up your sewing. First, you can skip the top stitching or to make that top stitching a little less apparent, you could use a matching like blended in color for your hems or your top stitching just to make everything not so precise looking. You could also make shorts or even cut off the edge of the jeans for a frayed finished edge and that would take away having a hem and maybe even give a little more versatility to your um, piece. The other thing you could do um, is to skip the pockets. Skip the back pockets. You could even sew the front without the pockets if you just quickly combined the pocket piece with the jeans front. Just do a little tracing and then you're done. And then 
taking out those extra steps would make them super easy and super fast. And then of course you could obviously skip the belt loops that happen at the end of the pattern and um, unless you're planning to wear a belt, those are, you know, would be fine and it would look cool and sleek and beautiful. Now, let's say that you wanted to step up your make. Number one, read all the directions and follow all of them. <laughs> and one of them is to serge all of the pieces before you sew. Um, of course, this step is in the pattern, but sometimes we tend to skip that step. And if you want a really polished interior, it's gonna be important to serge each of the pieces. And then um, you could either serge or overcast those edges first. And then when you sew, you would be able to like really work on getting the great fit and doing any um, extra fitting on the back end. And it looks really nice on the inside. Another thing that you could do is to use high contrast thread and work on that top stitching and get some beautiful double lines, bar tags, all of those things to reinforce the seams, do the um, faux fly, all of it would be beautiful. Another thing that you could do is put in rivets, you could put in tags, you could put in um, leather pieces. And in fact, actually another thing that you could do to step up is to watch my upcoming video about how to embellish jeans. So keep an eye out for that. So another new little segment we've got here today is um, it's called On the Spectrum. And this is kind of about figuring out where this pattern falls within the Love Notions collection of patterns. So let's kind of talk about and explore what its place is inside of our lineup and maybe how it stands out from the rest of the crowd. So in terms of placing crescendo, on the spectrum of Love Notions patterns. Um, let's talk about it in terms of bottoms, sewing patterns, but let's talk about it in terms of the difficulty of sewing. So we could have sorted these by all sorts of different ways, but let's talk about it by sewing difficulty level. So I'm gonna put up an image here where you can see the spectrum that we've got from the hardest, in my opinion, to sew to the easiest to sew. And these woven bottoms sewing patterns are all great, I love them all, but there's some that are a little harder than others. So I would say that glissando bottom starts at the far edge, then legato jeans, then largo cargos, duet trousers, then crescendo, then summer key, and then allegra. And you'll notice that crescendo is actually like pretty towards the easy side of the spectrum. So hopefully that is exciting for those of you who are maybe not as advanced, that this is a really approachable pattern. Now let's transition to another segment and that is giveaway time. So often before and during a pattern release, we like to celebrate with you and give you a little something something. Um, maybe that's a, pre, uh, a free pattern file. Um, you know, we're doing the um, so at first LN uh, challenge where anyone who sews it first gets entered to win um, a $50 sewing credit or other sewing goodies. And so today we're actually going to be giving away two amazing bundles with everything that you need to sew the gorgeous crescendo jeans, including perfect fabric. So. This is an incredible bundle, and I'm gonna let Timmy walk you through exactly what's in this like collection that you can win that we'll mail to you. Um, and you are gonna want all of these pieces in here, and I'll tell you how to get your hands on them as soon as Tammy's done. So to celebrate the release of our Crescendo jeans patterns, we have two kits that we're giving away. Um, the kit, um, you'll either get three yards of this black denim, which is kind of more of like a lighter black or three yards of this blue denim and each kit will have the two inch wide elastic, some jeans top stitching thread, which this really makes a huge difference on making your jeans look um, ready to wear, um, some denim needles and rivets to install at the pockets um, just to give that really nice ready to wear look that we're all looking for. Um, you'll also get a printout of the large format file. Um, you just let me know which rise you want because each uh, large format file is five pages. And so I'll print you out like if you want the standard or the petite or the tall rise and you'll get 
all the sizes unless you let me know if you want a particular size. I can do that too. So um, each kit will have their printout, their denim, the needles, rivets, thread, and elastic. Everything you need to make a pair of crescendos. Okay, doesn't that bundle look amazing? <laughs> so good. And Tammy had such a great idea to give that away. So if you'd like to enter to win one of these beautiful kits, please just leave a comment below here in this section of the video. Um, that's all you have to do. So just in the comment section of this video, leave me anything. A comment could be about what you leg you plan to sew first, um, anything about love notions, whatever you'd like. We'd just love to hear from you and what you think about this new pattern or anything about love notions. Um, and so if when you do that, you'll be entered to win and we'll pick two winners throughout this release week um, randomly. And then uh, we'll let those winners know and you'll get the free file and you'll get this um, bundle shipped to you. So if you have any questions, just let us know because this uh, bundle features fabric from one of our recommended shops, make sure that you also visit the recommended shop section on the listing of the pattern or even here in the description box. Um, and you can also be sure as you're putting all your stuff together for the jeans pattern, make sure to look out for that um, upcoming jeans embellishing video that we'll be doing. And if you have any ideas about embellishing jeans, leave a comment about those too. So if you'd like to get your Crescendo Jeans sewing pattern on sale, be sure to shop it now and you'll get $3 off through March 25th in honor of its release week. And there you have it. That's everything that you need to know before you sew the Crescendo pull-on jeans. We went beyond the pattern listing today and hopefully you're ready to like stitch up a storm of new crescendos to fill and elevate your wardrobe um, and give you lots of style and of course, lots of comfort. So thanks for tuning in and until next time, happy sewing.